Will the Deputy Prime Minister update the House on his vision for rural and regional Australia? What progress has the Liberal National Coalition government made in restoring agriculture as a fundamental pillar of the Australian economy? The Deputy Prime Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the honourable member for his question. And it was great, uh, Mr. Speaker, to go to Central Queensland to be in the local members' area. It's great to be with a local member who's been working so hard to make sure that we maintain the jobs and the prosperity of Central Queensland, and especially of Northern Queensland, where he's from. It was great to be up there and to be part of a process which now sees that uh, Pacific Reef Fisheries in air has now had final approval through the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, and this will lead to 100 new full-time jobs. 100 new full-time jobs, and during the uh, during the peak part of the season, a further 70 to 100 on top of that. This goes to show how we are making sure that it's just not a vision for agriculture, but a vision for jobs, a vision for people getting jobs. And it's also very important that we continue to build on our vision of greater markets, of better prices and of greater economic development for regional areas. In this, and it's not just in the local members' area as well. We've seen that even in the New England area where Thomas Foods and the expansion of their, uh, food, their food processing area, their lamb plant, will see another 200 new jobs. Uh, up at Gyra, we see uh, a further 10 hectares of glass houses with another 170 full, new time full jobs. But what's really exciting, of course, uh, Mr. Speaker, is to be part of a government here on the coalition between the national and liberal parties that are actually going to construct more water infrastructure are in the process of doing it right now. It was great to be able to go over the Fitzroy Basin and see the sites for uh, Rookwood and to also look over Eden Barn to have a look on the map for the site for Nathan to understand the importance of Urana Dam uh, in, the, in the members' electorate and to be part of this process where we have put uh, half a billion dollars, $500 million on the table, 50 million of that for the assessment of dams, five of those, those processes, three already been conducted by the CSIRO, one for the extension of Nalinga, another one for the extension of the Ord scheme, currently uh, being, uh, being assessed for, the, for who will go forward with that uh, analysis. And then we have $25 million for further dams and to see more than 50 applications that have come in. Mr Speaker, this is the vision, the vision of a side of government that is not scared of building water infrastructure, that is not scared of having that vision for how we advance the base price of land from a dry acre in round St George of two or $300 an acre into an irrigated acre of up to around about $13,000 an acre in some instances, certainly from $7,000 to $13,000 an acre. This is the vision that builds the size of our economy, and this is the side of government that has it. Mr Speaker, I'm looking forward to continuing on with this vision because I know this is the vision that provides the jobs that our nation so crucially needs.